Hi there, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be a, a long overdue VR2 Gull Pain and it's three games that I would recommend for anyone to play. Um, a lot of people have done this VR already, it wasn't, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I watched uh, Pete Fighters video and and yeah, I just really need to get into doing this VR because I think it's a really cool VR um, to kind of highlight some games that people may not have played. Um, and Pete Fett affects the cracking games as well, so go and have a look at his video as well. Uh, the three games I've picked are all from the 7th gen, uh, one Xbox 360, one PS3 and one Wii game. And, uh, and Pete Fett made a good point of... Um, um, recommending games that people people should play because rather than just collecting games like a lot of us do we just buy loads and loads of games and just leave them on the shelf to gather dust it's this is a quite a cool wee vr to get the games out there and hopefully people will go and have a wee shot of them so the first game that i'm going to pick and um, so all these games sorry as well are below 70 percent on metacritic and i think they are kind of uh, good games that may have got missed. You've probably got them in your collection already and um, you've just never really thought about playing them but I, I would recommend playing them because they are pretty cool. So anyway, the first game they got a 69% on Metacritic is a game that I've mentioned before and I just think it's brilliant. It's um, Need for Speed to Run. And I think this game is really, really cool. It got slated a little bit because of the quick time events in the game. I, I, when I played through it, I only encountered like, I think there's three quick time events and I didn't mind them at all, I think it moved the story on uh, pretty well, I think they were quite necessary, the quick time events in the game, to kind of move the story on. Uh, the, the whole setup of it is pretty cool, you've got, you're like um, in, in debt to the Mafia or the mob or something like that and you've got to take part in this race for, uh, I think it's like a million pound, a million dollar plus. And you've got to race from I think San Francisco to New York, the Golden Gate Bridge um, to New York, and it's really really cool. Uh, you change your cars when you reach petrol stations, gas stations. Uh, you go in there and you change your cars in there. The races are set up like you are like there's a hundred people in the race, and each kind of level you you've got to kind of make it up to like say the first level is hundred your hundredth position. You've got to get to like 90th by, by the time the race finishes and then you progress and then there's also like rival challenges and things like that to, to progress the story on even more. It's a really cool game. I would definitely recommend it. It's a really, really cheap game as well. And like I said, you probably already had it, have it in your collection. If you don't, you'd probably get it for like 50 feet or something. It's a really, really cool game and really cheap. The next one is my most most recommended out of these three games here and I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It took me ages to play this game. I don't know what why it took me so long. I've seen it on my shelves for ages and ages and then I finally gave it a go. And it's binary domain. This game is absolutely class. It's brilliant. Um, the graphics are brilliant. The the story is really really good. And also like um, the the performances from the characters are, are Stella, I absolutely loved them. I thought the characters were class. Um, there's a particularly French character in it who's just who's just brilliant. I, I really like the French character in it. Yeah, and I think it got kind of slated a wee bit because it wasn't. I think gameplay-wise, it wasn't anything new or like it's kind of Gears War kind of um, gameplay, like uh, cover cover shooter. But I think it does what it does really really well. Um, I don't think it misses a step. And this was um, 68% on Metacritic, but it's absolutely brilliant. Like I said, the, the characters are very well written. The story is really, really good as well. There's a lot of uh, different branches you can take. I've only played it once through, and I will play it again at some point, because you can take different characters through it, change your squad up. Um, the, the, like the interactions between your squad is really, Really cool as well, really fun, uh, funny, and the storyline is absolutely class. Not to spoil too much of it though, but you're basically fighting, all, you're kind of infiltrating 
this big corporation in Japan because they're producing robots or androids, cyborgs, something like that, but they're called the Hollow Children. And these things are really, really, really cool, like AI kind of storyline. Like they don't even know that they're not human until until they find out kind of thing. It's kind of weird, but it's really cool. And a really cool big twist at the end. But yeah, I would definitely recommend playing Binary Domain. This, I mean, like like I said, the gameplay, the shooting, the um, yeah, the gunplay, absolutely brilliant. Definitely recommend this one. And then this next one is the lowest rated one, with sixty six percent. Um, I'm quite a big fan of the series, or I used to be, and this is just a big departure from the series, so maybe that's why it's quite a low rating. But I, I had a lot of fun with it. It wasn't, it wasn't too taxing, and it's a uh, Final Fantasy, the Crystal Bearers on the Wii. This is only four quid, which isn't, um, it isn't expensive at all, and it's not rare at all either. But it's a really cool Wii game. I like, um, I really like the game world in it. Because you get to go, it's like a third person adventure kind of thing. But there's no like magic, like the whole kind of Final Fantasy um, blueprint is gone. It's not running around random battles. Um, there's no like magic and summons and things like that. It's just you with your remote and you've got the power to kind of like grab things, levitate them, and throw them around and stuff like that. Um, the story is pretty cool as well. I really like the characters in it. Uh, the chocobos are in it again, as you'd expect. All the kind of staples from Final Fantasy games. Uh, the, the wee Tonberries are still are still in the game. Bombs, characters, like all those kind of characters are there. So it's still a Final Fantasy game at heart, but the kind of mechanics are all completely different. It's kind of like a Final Fantasy light kind of game. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed it. I don't think there's I don't think there's a lot to do in it, but I really like the kind of. Uh, locations that you get to visit, the, the towns and the, the little areas, there's a bit with um, a big kind of pirate ship that's really cool, like a kind of pirate cove, but I mean the game is really really good, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a mind blowing game but I do think it's really really good, I don't think it's not very long either, it doesn't take a lot of your time, but yeah if you got, if you fancy a wee change, if you, if you like Final Fantasy, if you fancy a wee change then I think you can go a lot worse than picking up that and giving that a wee go. So those are my three games um, in response to Gull Pain and a whole load of people have done it already I think. So, well the Slasher Gaming has done it, um, David plays retro games badly has done it and like I said before Peter Fighter has done it. Loads of people have done it. I think Big Game Al did it. I think he picked out a game that I'm playing at the moment which is, um, which is uh, Agalos. Agalos is a really cool game. But I really did want to pick out three games that weren't that weren't big hitters. They're not, and, and they're very cheap as well. Like I'm pretty sure a lot of people bought them on their shelves, like I said before. And you can do a lot worse than just throwing them into your console and giving them a wee go. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and take care. Cheers.